welcome back for part two of my Pelican 1720 custom case build. If you've watched part one, you saw me make all my original outlines and I did all the initial cuts using a homemade hot wire cutter. At this point, I've been asked a lot about this, uh, tons of inquiries from people online. How do you plasti dip and would you plasti dip your case? I've never personally done this before, but I've also read up on it and it looks like a really good idea for a few different reasons. One, the rubberized coating actually absorbs into the foam, makes it a hell of a lot stronger than it is right now. I've already had issues with these peeling and uh, you know a little bit of breakage here and there. Nothing major, but at this point, I've agreed with most of my viewers that yes, it's time to plastic dip this foam. I've already glued the top piece down to the bottom piece, so that part's done. Plastidip is basically just a rubberized coating. Uh, in this case though, because we're using it on the open cell foam, the foam is going to absorb a lot of it. What this does is it strengthens it and gives it a much nicer appearance overall. Fills in all the divots, really just puts a pro touch on things. Some people just absolutely swear by the Plastidip and some people just don't really think it's necessary. I on the other hand, personally have never done it and I would like to, so I'm going to go ahead and take the plunge and do this. I've got three cans. This is the product right here. It's actually uh, not too awful expensive. It cost me about five bucks a can and I figure uh, three cans ought to do it. I plan on doing at least three layers. As you can see, I've decided to do this outside. Reason being, aerosol spray. You don't exactly have ventilation inside. Um, so at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Uh, I basically plan on just doing a couple thin layers, uh, letting it absorb, and then another layer on top. I'm probably gonna use about the full three cans, um, but uh, hey, I like to do things the hard way. We'll just see how it goes. At this point, I've laid down an entire can. You can already see how much darker this foam is. Um, prior to doing this, this foam was almost a light gray. Very, very dark, very nice now. It's filling in a lot of the little cracks and crevices very nicely. Here's can number two. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, can number two, done. On to can number three, this should be it. Okay, looking good. Uh, okay, we've put down three coats now, actually three complete cans, multiple coats. I basically just kept going until it stopped wanting to absorb it. That's the only advice I can offer. Uh, it doesn't really matter how smoothly you do it, it actually lays down a really nice even coat. Um, so at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and let this uh, dry out and I'll pack it up, uh, put everything back into place and uh, give you a conclusion. I went ahead and let the foam dry last night and I got everything packed back into the case this morning. The end result here is really, really impressive. The foam is so strong. 
it's kind of hard to describe, but the old foam uh, on the top there versus the newly plastic dipped foam on the bottom, there's no comparison. I could rip the top one with my fingers if I wanted to in a flash of a second. On the bottom, I was simply trying to grab a couple errant pieces of uh, uh, foam there just to rip them off. I had to pull and pull and pull. I am thoroughly impressed. Uh, I will definitely be plastic dipping the rest of my cases, and I highly recommend that you look into it. Definitely worth the time and effort.